been in part of this museum and it's already very impressive. It's kind of like partially, um, like a, like a Ripley's Believe It or Not and a museum combined. It looks like you're in the Jungle Book. That's right, it does in here, doesn't it? Yeah. We're in Costa Rica. And they're telling you all about how they collect specimens and things. See four right it's there. pretty neat. Sorry. What is that? That's a boar. Oh, a boar. And look, that's like a jaguar. Yeah, this place is pretty neat. And this is only the first part we've been in. Right here, How do you then, push it? Because it doesn't really like, look like a button. You just kind of like, touch you it. Just like touch it. Oh yeah. And then it's so that's telling you about the territorial defense, huh? Yeah. Interesting. I've never seen half of these bugs and things, which makes sense because this is supposed thing, to be Costa like, Rica. Like look at that thing, like the the horn one. Yeah. All I can say is thank goodness we don't have any of these around. <laughs> So this was our first section here. Connor's super eager to get over here because we saw these guys. And then we saw this and we're like, whoa. <laughs> so we're gonna finish up the rainforest and then hit this guy. This is a European village. So we are going to walk around in the European village here and see what they've got going on. Remember, the spinning jenny is what replaced those oh, machines. Right. Remember, the spinning jenny is what they came up with as an automated machine so people didn't have to do that anymore. That's creepy. I would agree with you. That is a little creepy. It's kind of a creepy looking doll. Yeah. Also this one as well. Uh, yeah. Yeah, those aren't exactly fun. <laughs> Lots of creepy dolls. Apparently Europe is filled with old creepy dolls. But I've been there and I don't remember seeing a bunch of old creepy dolls. There's a rooster up there. There's a what? A rooster? It or sure something. is. Yep, up there he is. Oh my goodness, this is really neat. It's very detailed. It is very detailed, isn't it? I mean, from the trees. I know it's kind of hard to see in here, but the trees and everything. It has like a doll Printers and machine shop. It's got some blueprints there. So one of the cool things is that they have a little candy shop in this uh, part of the exhibit, the old Milwaukee part, and it actually is manned with somebody, so you can actually purchase candy from in there. 
So that's kind of an interesting little thing, just to kind of make it more realistic. In the barber shop, yeah. Right next to the. Oh yeah, you see him right there in the window. Why is the candy shop back? Again, we're talking about the. Uh... Whoa, whoa! Look at that. What are we looking at? Look, there's a window with. Oh like, my goodness! I just saw like someone in. Yeah. That was interesting. There's like a person in there. We're talking about the details. Holy smokes! We are upstairs. At another part here. <laughs> oh, there goes the person. Yeah, right there. What about the place you make keys? Whoa. Looks like she's doing makeup. She is doing her makeup, yeah. It takes her five hours to do it. Does it take her five hours? I don't think it takes it that long. See? She's good. I don't think I've ever seen one of these. It kind of looks like... At first I thought it was just a telephone booth. But then, with the uniform in here, and the guy's lunch, I'm assuming maybe it was like a post area for like a policeman. But I've never seen one of these things before. Very interesting. There's Tonner up on, the, up on a very large bicycle, <laughs> trying to reach, reach the pedals. <laughs> Ooh, an old theater. Let's see what's playing. Oh my, this is neat. Yeah, this has gotta be one of the coolest museums. I have ever been in. Very, very much worth the money. <laughs> Connor's still trying to reach the reach the pedals. <laughs> if you don't reach the pedals, this is what you do. Oh, nice. Inventive. Yes. <laughs> Although you'd be constantly going backwards instead of forwards. <laughs> Here's a motor wagon inside of like a barn area. I can't even imagine trying to steer this thing. I mean, that must have taken a lot of trial and error to learn to teach somebody how to drive one of those. Again, this place is just so cool. We're getting on the streetcar here. Are you driving us? We're going oh, wow. to the bridge. Oh, we're, we're moving. Um, this is pretty neat. I thought that was one butterfly and it's actually two.
They don't seem to be bothered by you touching them at all. Look there. Are they excavating? Yep, next to rafters or whatever they are. Coolest dinosaurs. Up here is what Connor was looking for. Where oh where did Connor go? Ooh! Haha! <laughs> gotcha. I don't think this is quite it. I think this is part of it. But yeah. not completely it. Yeah. Feels like you're underwater. It does feel like you're underwater. Can you imagine seeing those ginormous squid underwater? No, yeah. thank you, sir. Oh, no, here's that thing. Not like giant sharks are a reason enough. Oh, look at that. Like that big giant, like. Where is that thing? Whatever that thing is, it looks like a. Maybe an ancestor to an alligator or something. Look at the size of that dragonfly. This is a Stegosaurus. Stegosaurus. Oh man, this part is cool. What would you find, Kyle? Yeah. Beach. Yeah. Whoa. Okay, I gotta admit, that's pretty neat. It's like being at Universal Studios. <laughs> Here we are again at that area that Connor found. Saber tooth tigers. Holy moly. Buffalo getting run off a cliff. Oh, jeez. Look, <laughs> look at it. One, one that is like falling like upside down. Yep. Then these, like a few of them just like. See, uh, and then if they, if they are on the uh, cliffs here, yeah. then they can yeah. shoot them when they fall. Yeah. Because buffalo are pretty, pretty big. Yeah. Thanks for watching. Check out the trailing motorcycle.